iFlix calls itself a game changer or a disruptor in, in, this, in this industry. Mm -hmm. How would you see this affect the traditional media business like Astro and Media Prima? The idea that programs, particularly those that are not live or time-based, requires the concept of channels, requires appointment to view at certain times of day or days of week, doesn't make sense anymore because mm. people need to have the absolute convenience to be able to choose which program they want to watch, when they want to watch, and where they want to watch. Mm. Now, iFlix has been launched in Malaysia for about two weeks mm -hmm. now, about 13 days. Right. How, how's the response from the viewers so far? Well, look, I think we're extremely encouraged uh, mm. in this very short time. It has surpassed over 25,000 uh, people who have activated their subscriptions. Uh, so that's extremely encouraging for a first start. Uh, even before we announce, uh, you know, um, a, a higher level of awareness, uh, our partnership campaigns. Do you think that it will in incur an additional cost to the consumers or the viewers? Well, put it to you this way. Um, firstly, at our price point of, mm -hmm. at the most, you're paying 10 ringgit a month. Right. It's such a low price that you don't have to make an either or choice. Mm. In fact, that's exactly what you see in advanced markets like the US, where 85% of uh, major subscription video on demand internet television subscribers also have or retain a multi channel pay television mm -hmm. subscription base. So it is much more complementary. And iFlix has raised about uh, 30 million US dollars mm -hmm. uh, from Ketcha Group, the parent mm -hmm. company and Philippine Long Distance Telephone mm -hmm. Company. How is iFlix going to utilize these funds? The single biggest expense is going to go to content Contents, rights. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we've, we've already uh, invested in a pretty sophisticated technology platform. Mm -hmm. And so going forward, um, virtually, well, in fact, most of that uh, investments and cash goes towards acquiring content rights and also getting into you know, local production and mm. original programming.